Hey guys, it's Miss Anderson here. So today we've had several questions on how to export assignments that are in Google Classroom and are going to be utilizing Google Slides or Jamboard or even um, Google Docs for the future. So in order to get that from Classroom into a place where we can work on it, we need to know how to export it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Google Classroom app, in which we've all became pretty proficient at, which is amazing. Then I'm going to find the class that the assignment's in, and this is actually my son's Google Classroom, so I'm using his actual assignment to walk you through it. When I open this up, I'm going to go to Classwork, because that's where his assignment is. It's at the bottom. I don't know, this is kind of hard to see. Then I'm going to click on the assignment that he is working on in Google Slides and his teacher posted an iPad version, a computer version and right now I'm on the iPad so I'm going to click iPad then down here at the bottom it will say your work okay I'm going to open that up and then right here is his Tate Anderson this is his individual copy so he is working on his copy when he as soon as he clicks on this it's going to open it up into Google Slides. Okay, so now I have the Google Slides, but I still can't do anything with it. So I need to then click this arrow. This is really important. Okay, over here on the very far end, the square with the arrow, and that's going to export it for me. It's going to open it up into Google Slides app. Okay, once it's in Google Slides app, it is there. It's there forever, always, unless you delete it. And that's hard to do. So, this is amazing. And the same thing can be applied to Jamboard, Google Docs, any Google product that you're using inside of Google Classroom. You just need to hit that export button. Okay? So, now that it's in Google Slides, I can actually move it. I can double click here to type in it. See, I'm typing now. I'm going to delete that because he doesn't need all that. And I can click that check mark and then it saves everything that I have. I can go to the next slide. I can touch and drag stuff where it needs to go. And the amazing thing now is that once, like I said, that check mark, when you, everything's saved. Okay? And if I ever need to find it, I just go back into Google Slides, open it up, and it's right there. Like I never left it. It's amazing. Okay. So several of you, I hope you watch this. I hope you found this helpful. Um, and if you have more questions about how to export from Google Docs get back into Classroom, that then just let us know. You guys, um, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your persistence. And I just thank you for all that you're doing for our kids right now. Have a great day.